Welcome to Upside Down. In today's quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can quickly and easy create a tool inside Unreal 4 for creating ropes, chains, tubes or other meshes that you want to repeat many many times. We are first going to make a very simple mesh inside 3ds Max and later on create our spline tool in Unreal. Let's start. I'm already inside 3ds Max. I'll make a cylinder which will be our rope. I'll make it one meter tall and I'll leave it to have five segments, but for the sides, I'll just put six. And for the thickness, yeah, I'll leave it as it is. I think it's, it's okay. I'll just center everything into the scene. And now I'm just going to apply a simple rope texture. And we are ready to export our mesh. Now, since we created our mesh inside 3ds Max, we are ready to import it inside Unreal. I'm going to click Import. And I will also import our texture. I'll create a very simple material. Inside the material, I'll just put the texture that we have for diffuse and I will put a roughness node on one so that we don't have any roughness on our material. I'll apply it and save. I'm going to open our mesh and drag and drop the material on the material slot so that we have it assigned. Now we are ready to start our rope blueprint. I will right click somewhere on the empty space in our content browser and after that go to blueprint class and we are going to choose actor and we are going to open our rope tool. Now what we can see here is that we just have the default root scene and it's completely empty. We are first going to add our component and as I mentioned we are going to use spline. So we are going to add component and from here we will find spline so that we have our spline in the scene. Now we can go into our construction script and start adding the logic behind our spline tool. Here the first part that we are going to do is to define that we want to create a new loop of a mesh for each segment that we are adding of the spline. So to do this first we are going to drag from the construction script and I'll type for loop We are going to drag and drop the spline so that we can start getting some logic and some information from here. I'll drag from it and type get number of spline points so that we can tell our script how many points we have. I will drag from here and integer plus integer. We are going to set this to two for both of our points. Now from loop body, we can drag and type add spline mesh component. Inside the spline mesh component, we can load the mesh that we created. And if I compile and save at the moment, we can see that the mesh doesn't look correct. This is because we didn't set the axis on which our mesh is pointing. So we drag from here and add set forward axis. And since our mesh is pointing up, we are going to choose Z. We need to connect the return value to our target, compile and save. And if we go back to the viewport, we can see that now our mesh is pointing the right direction. The last part that we need to do is to define our start and end position. So I'm going to drag and I'm going to type set start and end. Here you can see that we need start position, start tangent, end position and end tangent. So the way to get this information is from our spline. I will drag it again on the scene. I'll drag a line from our spline and type get location and tangent at spline point. We will copy paste it one more time because one is going to be for the start, the other one is going to be for the end. I will connect those to the start and the other one to the end. And the way that we are going to define what is a beginning one and which is the end one is going to be from our for loop. So first I'm going to get our index just as it is into our start point. And for the end point, we are to add plus one. So we say that it's one more than the one above. This way we are saying that this is the start point and this is the end point. The last thing that we need to connect is to take the mesh component 
and connect it to our start and end. Now we can compile and save and our tool is ready to be tested. I'll close it and I'm going to drag and drop it into the scene. And we can see that we have our mesh displayed. The way that splines work is if we want to add another point to it, we can select the last point, hold out, and after that drag on some of the axes. This will create a new point. You can see that we have now the starting, the middle one, which was uh, before the last one, and now we have a new point on our mesh. And also we can already start moving it around and making the shape that we need for our scene. If you're interested in other tutorials for 3D and game art, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial on a specific topic. Thank you for joining me today, see you next time!